Hello and welcome. I'm Domina Della Pai, Mystery Sasha Storm. And this uh, recording is about $40 pussy. The price of pussy is now $40 and has been for approximately, well, at least 10 years now. Much to my chagrin, I am so pissed. I'm not selling pussy. And I feel really bad for those who are selling themselves for $40 because when I was actively engaged in domination, I knew many sex workers and I know for a fact that they were not making anything less than $250 to $300 an hour and upwards. Mind you, those were white women in Toronto. Let's raise the bar because at some point the politicians wanted the uh, South Asian vote. And they wanted the brown vote. So we had many Arabs, Muslims, you know, Persian people, and we had South Asian, Indian people, Pakistanis. They came here in droves, large numbers of them. Now, they are practically running the, the country, you know. It's like, I don't know what happened to the white man, but we, Canada is now brown brown and yellow and I say how fitting that they took from the black um, indigenous people and basically shut them out put them in the dark and promoted yellow Siberian rooted as the uh, mixed with Caucasian that's the new indigenous but that's beside the point right because I digress however back on track these South Asian males are very cheap. And I don't mean that with any disrespect. It's just stating facts. Very, very cheap are these South Asian males. It's South Asian people, it's the culture to um, barter, to, how you say, make a deal. You know, they never just pay the price of things. They always got to negotiate something less, something lower. Can I get it cheaper? Can I get the discount? Boop, 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 boop. My sister used to work at the department store in high school. She worked at the department store just so she can shop for a um, empl employee discount because she loves shopping and she wouldn't pay the full price. So she, that was how she clothed herself, which I think is very smart. Well, I remember her saying she didn't like when the South Asian people came to shop because it, if they were having a sale and it was like 80% off, the South Asian shoppers would always ask her for a further discount. Like 80% off was not enough for them. She was like, she would get pissed and she'd be like, I don't know, they want it for free. <laughs> it was funny because, um, as I said to her once, well, you look like, you look like one of them because my sister does look and could pass for a South Asian person, which is funny in itself. Anyway, yes, <laughs> our roots, black and Indian, we go way back in the black. Because we may have the Indian hair, but we have the black skin. <laughs> we didn't arrive. We didn't arrive. We were already here. Anyway, the Indians from India in these times came because, you know, I think, was it Stephen Harper and then you know, Trudeau and the uh, Catherine Wynne? You know, they, they took turns inviting and accepting. And so we we're overrun by South Asians. And that meant that the market went down, reduced to the gutter level, because Indian men refused to pay, let's say for my domination, they didn't want to pay $200 for domination, and in fact, they didn't, my, my rate at the time was $200 an hour, and the whores used to tell me, because I had friends who were whores, and they were mad at me, because they were charging $250, $300 an hour for their pussy, and I said, I cannot in good conscience charge uh, any man 250 to 300 dollars an hour because i'm not selling pussy i'm dominating them and i'm having loads of fun doing it you guys are doing a little more high risk sometimes the guy wants to do raw then you take it to four or 450 you you can negotiate that's your business that's your body however i chose 200 dollars an hour i thought that was adequate 
So that's why a lot of whores have a real big problem with me. I'm going to continue to speak freely because they don't like me talking about the, their industry that they've reduced to the sewer. And here's the reason why they're accepting $40 for pussy. Because the Indian men refuse to pay what they were charging. I said, then don't accept Indian men. Because you, if that's their level, that's not your level. Your level was already higher. You allow them to lower the bar. That was your biggest mistake because then they're calling me and they want to offer me a hundred dollars. These guys were, I'm a little hot. Let me turn this fan on because I don't want air conditioning. These guys were offering me a hundred dollars and they didn't want domination because they did not know what domination was. All they knew was sex, whoredom, whoring, fucking for money. And they had the audacity to offer me a hundred dollars and I don't even sell my body this way i don't have sex for money but i will dominate you pardon me so that's how the price of pussy was reduced because on the scene arrived um the transgender sex workers they just came flying out of the woodwork they were always uh, transgender sex workers they called them she males at the time that was before they were called transgender they were called she males and then they decided she male is not a good name we don't like that. We are women. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Because if we were women, you would have valued yourselves more. Because you are guys, you are lowering the bar. That's what guys do. Because they don't value women. Even if those, even those who want to be women, who claim they're women, they're still lowering the bar. Why? Because I heard one say, well, I don't really have to charge so much because I'm more in it for the sex. So that tells me many of the transgender were not getting sex. We're not having sex. Nobody wanted to F them, okay? So they, they found a way to get sex and get paid. And they didn't mind that they were getting paid less. So they accepted $100 for effing, right? And when the transgender sex workers accept hundred dollars the guys call a domina and she says oh, my rate is 200 an hour and then they will say well um first they say well what's domination and i explain to them and they're like well can can we just can we just have sex for a hundred and i'm like ew and i hang up i hang up the phone and i block them because I don't want to deal with that. And this is the way a whore or a sex worker, somebody in the industry has to maintain standards. And there are no standards right now when you are accepting $40 for pussy. You're accepting full service for $40. And oh, the reason why the young hoes are accepting $40, they wanted more. Especially the black ones, the African American ones, they want more money because they see the white girls are making more money. But the black girls, people play with them. People, people meaning males, again, the men. They call, I call them males because they're not men. Because men would value women. But these males don't value these sex workers. And the sex workers don't value themselves. And they'll say such things as, well, he, 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 he didn't want to pay. Like the guy will say at the end of the session, oh, here, that's all I have. And he shows up with $40, really? Really? No, no. Then, no, no. You got to negotiate and have your money up front. Now, I never had to have my money up front because I was selective with my clients. I didn't just book people because they called me. And that's what y'all be doing. You just, oh, he called and you got you to call. And, but you don't know what you're dealing with. You, you, you have to establish some rapport. You have to get to know these guys. You can't just have any fly by night. $40. Good heavens, what would you, why, why would you accept that for yourselves? It tells me that you, you don't even have low self-esteem. You have no self-esteem. Because $40 for pussy is a travesty. It should never be. And that's what y'all are out there doing. I can't believe you're still accepting $40 from these guys. I can't believe these guys have the audacity to offer you $40. So it shows me the market. The market is filled with whores who don't value themselves because... The South Asian males and the transgender sex workers lowered the bar so low that they're offering $40 for pussy. And I say to black women, find something else to do. Because $40 for your body, it's just, I think, it's demoralizing. It's dehumanizing. It's, it, 
I mean, oh my goodness, how can you accept that? And that's why I cannot be your friend. Because I will continue to speak this way and you will resent me. You will continue to resent me. You will continue to hate me. You will get into your groups. You will get into your groups and talk about me. And, oh, don't, don't, you, you know, you're there watching me, spying on me. But you don't, you no longer like me. You don't like me because I speak truthfully. But I'm not here to be popular. I'm here to be truthful. And the black community needs truth in this world of lies. Everything is a damn lie. You are not having a good time. You're not living your best life. No. And when you finally do get some extra money, that means you've done some extra things which were extra degrading because they're devaluing you. They devalue you. Please do better. Stop accepting. And it should be across the board. You guys, the same way you can get into your little uh, social media groups, where you learn to shun people like me, you talk behind my back, you talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I know, I'm intuitive, and I pick up energies. Yes, clairvoyance, I know what's going on. I know what you're saying, I know what you're doing, I feel the energy so strongly. There's no reason to hate me. The reason you hate me is because you hate yourselves. So please start to love yourselves and value yourselves there are other things other than prostitution that you can become involved with you think it's easy you're just gonna you know no it's not easy you build up a good clientele you have then you have some good solid money see i was not money hungry and money grubbing it's just when i needed something i would work my phone would be ringing i wouldn't answer it because i just i don't need anything i'm not that type of a hungry whore so hungry whores are hustlers and, you know, they get, and what do they do? They buy things to show off, you know, they buy the designer clothing. They drive the fancy car for their boyfriend, the pimp, you know, all kinds of shit. They get their drugs, their alcohol, you know, they, and they, they're living their best life, they say, right? But they're selling their pussy. And if you're going to sell your pussy, please, ladies, ladies, <laughs> getting laid for $40 is not the way. That's what I say. I am Domina Della Pai, Mistress Sasha Storm. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's make it positive. Let's raise the bar. Let's raise the vibration. Let's raise the frequency. Good day.